best and worst WrestleMania? The worst WrestleMania is WrestleMania 27. Wow. Okay. By a mile. I'll give you my pick after. Yeah, worst. I hate that WrestleMania. There's like, like I mean, there are little, like, Triple H versus Undertaker, obviously great. But as a WrestleMania, the ending of that WrestleMania, John Cena and The Miz both looking like fools. The Rock is the host getting the last moment on the show. Terrible for everything. Awful. I hate I that WrestleMania. I went to that WrestleMania with a friend of mine who doesn't watch wrestling. And he goes, wait. Did The Rock win? <laughs> exactly. And I go, no, no, The Rock wasn't even the match. What? What's? Why is he? Why is he? Exactly. Hate that WrestleMania. <laughs> hate it. And I don't hate any WrestleManias. Hate WrestleMania 27. And the best WrestleMania, you know, I gave it over a year because I didn't want recency bias to affect it. But I can make a real strong argument for WrestleMania 38. Mm. WrestleMania 38 was incredible. 39 was good too. And there yeah. have been other great WrestleManias and great moments at WrestleMania. WrestleMania WrestleMania 17 is obviously great. WrestleMania 18 is great. The you 38, know. you've got the return of Cody, Stone Cold wrestling yeah. again. We saw that Logan Paul was not just a celebrity yes. wrestler. Yes. And it, it to, as I said in the beginning of this conversation, it's the launching point of this era. You can trace everything back to that WrestleMania. It is the beginning it's 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 roman reigns bloodline story really becoming this reign of terror where yeah. it's holding everything hostage it's everything yeah so i think right now as you ask me today in case anybody's <laughs> going back a year two years three years wrestlemania 27 is that's never going to change that's the worst it I'll, sucks I'll, but wrestlemania 38 is probably my favorite today it's hard to argue against that yeah i'll give you my worst wrestlemania 36 because there's really nothing from the pandemic era that you would ever go back and want to rewatch. And I get that the Firefly Funhouse match was great. So good. A, a, a wonderful pivot at the absolute last minute because John Cena was telling me they had a full plan for what they were going to do and like have an actual match. But nobody wants to watch anything from like March until like really the rest of 2020. Like nobody wants to go back and go, ooh, like I love that Drew won the title, but I hate that it was in front of nobody. And he beat two guys. I hate that it was in front of nobody. In front of nobody. You know, I can't. It's like the hearing the the feet screeching, like when you hear the, the feet screeching, squeeching, scree what am I trying to say? Squeaking. Squeaking. On a basketball court when you're watching a, a game. Yeah. When you hear them thumping in the ring with nothing else. The weird echo of the commentators, because you can hear them on the mic, but yeah. also in the room. Before they were piping in the, the fan noise, before they had the fans on the screen, which I still thought was very weird. And they were even doing hard cam to nothing. Oh, it was before they hit the hard cam on the entry. Let's way. show everybody that there's no one here. Yeah. yeah, I think that that's look, and I get it. They had a few days to pivot and figure that out. And that's yeah. no fault of the WWE's, but no one is going back to anything during the pandemic era of wrestling and going, can't wait to rewatch that thing. And it's really interesting because that WrestleMania 36 could have been the greatest WrestleMania of all time when you think about it. I mean, yeah. Drew was never hotter going into that WrestleMania. Everybody yeah. was so ready for Drew to have his heroic moment. Edge versus Randy, last man standing, would have been incredible. That was the greatest match ever. No, 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 no. Oh. The greatest wrestling match ever oh, that was, was the paper. Right. That was Backlash. That was WrestleMania right. Backlash. Oh, yeah. And it was the greatest yeah. wrestling match ever. By that, the way, I have a whole thing about that's that. That's certainly what they called it. Yeah. I, have, I have a whole thing about it. <laughs> we could talk about it if you want. But... Uh, so, you, but you would—that was the last man standing, which would have been great. It was uh, John Cena versus Bray, obviously Kevin Owens versus Seth, uh, and we would have had the 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 finale of the Otis Ziggler Mandy story, and that's another thing that people forget. Like, if Otis and Mandy Rose had made out in front of a stadium full of people, it would have been. Maybe save for Drew winning the title. Maybe not. The biggest pop of WrestleMania. It's it true. would have been a forever. Otis and Mandy would have gotten a forever WrestleMania moment had that happened. That on paper, if you put that in a stadium based on how good the 2020 Royal Rumble was, 36 would have been yeah. one of the best. And it it's almost like we needed to have that whole era with no fans there to appreciate how amazing it was when everything came back and we had full arenas, not like, oh, I'm sure you were there too. WrestleMania 37 sitting next to cardboard cutouts was a little strange. <laughs> I was not at 37. Oh, it was very strange because 
I, I was with my friends that I went with, but I was surrounded by cardboard cutouts. Yeah. Which looked great on the wide shot. But I think it's just weird. It's almost like it's almost like John Cena going away. Like you don't know what you've got until it's gone. And maybe that's one of the reasons why 38 is so good. And I, I go with I think 17's the best. Yeah, I mean it's it's a Rock Hogan TLC two or Rock Rock Austin TLC two was it except the finish of that Rock Austin match is not good. Nobody thinks about the Austin turned heel. Right. Everybody forgets that. <laughs> they Every, do. Everybody but for... They just think about the My Way, uh, the build-up video. The build-up video is so good. The that's... aesthetics of that WrestleMania is so good, like in the stadium and everything. It's that's the height of the Attitude Era. Yeah, that's a great WrestleMania. But yeah, I'm not gonna let anybody forget. <laughs> you know, you talk about people. People romanticize the Attitude Era. Oh, do not forget that Stone Cold Steve Austin turned heel at the end of WrestleMania 17. 